In Puerto Rico and other Latin countries, coquito recipes are prized possessions among families. This Friday, some of the best recipes will be put to the test at the Paranda and Coquito Contest fundraiser. Here to fill us in is Dania Daniel Diaz, the contest chairman, Peter Blasini, last year's winner, and Ida Casanova, last year's second place winner. Was there competition between you guys? Oh, oh, you bet. There is always a competition. <laughs> yeah. So, Daniel, tell me a little bit about uh, the contest and what's going on. Uh, the contest is a way to, um, it's of course, a, con a cultural event, um, and it's um, adding a Latino twist to American Christmas uh, to bring some of our heritage um, to this event. Um, Coquito is... Uh, it's a drink. It's a cocktail. It's I didn't realize that there's it's some rum cocktail. involved. Well, you know, what's a Latino party without music, without drunk people, <laughs> without, oh dear. you know, <laughs> food is just great. It's a great event. Uh, we encourage a lot of people to come. You know, we, we do want to thank the Rums of Puerto Rico for being one of our sponsors. Uh, but, you know, Coquito has rum, mm -hmm. coconut. Um, and Ida will, and Peter will tell you about more about the details of it. Um, I'm not a great cook, so. But, but that's why I'm not competing. So. Okay, fair <laughs> enough, fair enough. But I see you've brought a lot of instruments yes, here, which yes, means yes. Uh, you're going to have to bring that to the contest if you want to compete. Well, no, not the instruments, but the, the coquito. We have several um, people that are going to be competing, but we ask people to bring their guayaberas. To bring their Panama hat, okay. To, to bring, bring their musical instruments. instruments and make a lot of noise. Make it very authentic, right? Absolutely. Of course, yes. All right. Ida, what are you making for us today? Uh, I'll be making a flan, which is a very popular dessert in, in Latin countries. Um, this is a prize-winning flan. It's it's a prize-winning flan. <laughs> it depends who makes. Everyone makes it a little different, okay. but it's it's this this is the original. This is a basic um, version of the flan, and again, it's delicious. It's a custard. It's baked, it's beautiful, um, and it's delicious. Well, I know we're not going to get all the secret ingredients, but no, there's uh, some. There's, there are eggs, evaporated milk. There are, there are eggs. Um, there are three eggs. Um, sweetened condensed milk, okay. evaporated milk, and of course the caramel that goes over the flan, which is just sugar. And it's caramelized. Some people do add some other ingredients to okay. their caramel or to their... Flung. And it goes well with a coquito. It goes well with the coquito, <laughs> with or without, they're both great. Now, Peter, tell me a little bit about the competition. What was it like last year? A lot of competitors? There were there were seven competitors last year, mm -hmm. and uh, the winner, luckily, was me. <laughs> and I actually w went to a competition in New York at the Museo del Barrio. Oh, so this is stage one? This is stage one. This okay. is the Connecticut competition, and the winner will go to New York, where there will be a competition of 14 other competitors. Wow. I think uh, we're looking at some pictures from last year. Ida, is that you? That's me. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a, a lot of fun. It's a great time. And it's who benefits from all this? We have four organizations that benefit. Progreso Latino Fund, which is an endowment fund. Casa Otoñal, which is an elderly center. And Arte, of course, which uh, we promote Latino art and culture. And Hispanos Unidos, which is an organization that provides services to people affected by HIV. Okay, and I think we need to tell our viewers what a paranda is. A paranda mm. is actually, historically, in some countries is called novenas. Uh, like in Colombia and other Latin American Peru uh, mm -hmm. countries. Um, in Mexico, Guatemala, they're called posadas. Mm -hmm. And in Puerto Rico, because uh, I don't know if people know, Puerto Rico has the longest Christmas celebration in the world. Is that right? Yes, it starts, we have two Christmas. It starts, we exchange gifts twice. It starts the day after Thanksgiving, and it goes all the way to the 14th of January. I think that's wonderful. Now, the paranda is kind of like a party, but almost like caroling, would you say? Christmas yes. Caroling? It's similar to, to American caroling. Uh, what it was done, you go from house to house. Okay. And then as people join the crowd, they go to the next house, and then you end up at one house. And there you have an asopao, which is a chicken soup. And believe me, you need this chicken soup and the starch to actually... Because you've had a lot of these, A lot of coquitos, yes. so how can you go wrong? Um, I'm the designated driver, which is kind of nice, Very to good. the parrandas. And then you bring music with, 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 uh, with everybody brings their own instruments, as, as we said earlier. It's going, the parranda is almost sold out, so we are encouraging people to call us. Okay. And, uh, and it's going to be very close. It's at the Annex Club uh, off of Exit 50 on Woodward Avenue. So um, if you really want to start your holiday with a Latin twist, and like I said, most of the people that go to the parranda 
uh, is a combination of Latinos and non-Latinos. Okay. Last year we have around 50-50, so it's for everybody to celebrate. Latino Christmas. That's I like right, that. All right. right. Well, that looks like it's getting it's hot. It's getting hot. Yes, So I'm assuming that might be one of the first steps, or would you do yes. that last? This is actually one of the first steps. This would, uh, sorry, it's... Uh, that's hot. hot. But you yeah. would put it in here and then put the custard on top of it, more Yes, or less? we would. We would mix all the ingredients, which are the eggs, the sweetened condensed, um, and the evaporated milk. We mix together. Okay. And vanilla. We uh, make sure that the, the caramel is nice and cooked and just perfect. Not too much, not too less. And we pour it in the pie plate. Okay. Yeah. And here. Oh, we could do it right now. All right. But flan takes a while to... It does take a while, especially the caramel. You have to be very careful and make sure you're supervising the caramel watch it really close, very right? carefully. And we mix the eggs together. Hold on one minute. Peter, any tips from the, the pro down there? Uh, when it comes to this, I... Stay away from me. <laughs> okay, we'll leave it to Ida. All right, well, we're going to have the recipe on our website at WTNH.com. Exactly. Well, some of the recipe, at least. Mm -hmm. Some of the recipe. Let's find all the information about uh, the event. It's going to be again at the Annex Club in New Haven, Friday, December 2nd. Tickets are still available, you said? Yes. All right, and you can see the number on your screen. It's 203-787-ARTE, which is 2783. Very good, guys. Thank you so much for sharing. Are you competing this year? Yes, we are. Yes, we Against are. each other again. Yes. yes. All right. Well, good luck, everyone. Thank you. Thank All you. Right.